there's a Walmart, but let me tilt you down so you can look at it. Like, she's giving. Look at this. <laughs> so, anyway. I was thinking about sitting on it, but then I didn't for two reasons. One, I feel like it would be loud, like too loud, and two, I don't want to pop it. I'm gonna try sitting on it. I'm scared. She is the moment, she is the aesthetic, she is the vibe, and she will be hanging out with us today. <laughs> this is kind of like an unusual um, camera angle and mic angle, but I wanted to try it out because like, it's fun. <laughs> Change it up. So, as you can see, this isn't, th that's not even all of the 2000s magazines that I have, but I figured for the sake of, <laughs> but I figured for the sake of consistency, we would go with the second issue that I have of the Mary Kate and Ashley magazine. This is from June slash July of 2001. 2001. We'll touch back on that in a sec, but here you are. Let's see. So, we have Endless Summer, Mary Kate and Ashley on the World's Most Famous Beaches, A Series is Born, Eden's Crush. I totally forgot about that group until now. Mandy Moore, MTV's Brian McFadden and Joey McIntyre, Supersize Your Summer, and then I'm not going to get political here, but let's just talk about how this was 22 years ago and we're still having the same problem. That's all I'm going to say. Um, if you purchased this back in the day, it was $5.99. Let's open her up. Alright, inside <laughs> we have an ad for green apple flavor sweet tarts. Honestly, that eye color is serving. I really like that. Imagine you could like, I mean, I know you have, they're like colored contacts, but gummy sweet tarts, chewy sweet tarts, chart. I think chewy sweet tarts are still a thing. 10 things to accomplish over your summer break. Volunteer for a cause you feel strongly about in your community, period. Write a letter on homemade stationery to someone special. Redecorate your room and add a whole new personal style. Start a savings with all of your spare change. At the end of the summer, spend it on a hot new pair of pants. <laughs> Read a biography on someone who intrigues you. Okay, I'm pretty much on board. Try out a whole new look with a new outfit or hairstyle. Start a journal. Have a necklace slash bracelet making party and have everyone exchange their creations with someone else at the end. Initiate and organize a family day or night. You could make dinner or go to an amusement park. I should have had that. Was this like glued to my wall as a kid? Take a yoga class and learn how to relax. It's a good tool to relieve stress. stress. Wow. Screenshot that. I don't care how old you are. Do that right now. Okay, next page we have the table of contents. Mall of America. Wow, what stores were they advertising at the time? Let's see. Look at the logo for Claire's. Claire's, Steve Madden, Guess, J. Crew Kid, Pacific Sunwear. Abercrombie and Fitch, Old Navy, Zoomies, Wet Seal, Juxtapose? I don't have that. 
American Eagle and Arrow pasta. Mage Cube. We have editor's letter from 98 degrees. I know they're not the editors, but oh my goodness. And then on the back is an advertisement is for Mary Kate and Ashley's show, So Little Time. What video recently was I talking about where I was like, you can buy it? Maybe it was a Patreon video. I don't know. I, but I found that you can buy it on like Apple TV Plus or something like that. Which like I can't consciously do. One, because like this show was not good. But also I want to. <laughs> Boys shopping, school, and family. Mew Mew. Look at their flip flops, their chunky platform. Wow. I mean, like, I always wanted to look cool in outfits like these, but I knew realistically if I were to wear this, I would be screaming the entire day. Like, I would not like it. AOL keywords, so little time. Do you remember that? The AOL keywords. Next, letters from you. This is a Reebok sneaker ad. It says, live happily ever after in Reebok. No tea, no shade, but like, was the advertising budget like really tight in Reebok for this? harping on this, but like, look at who's who saw this and was like, yeah, that's that's the one. This is the pick. That's that's the ad we want. Okay, next is a section called Buzz. Cheerio to O Town. O Town. They sang, O-Town sang, did they sing Liquid Dreams? Is that what that was? O-Town. They look like babies. Babies, like that's, that's someone's brother in high school or college. You know what I mean? Buzz. Summer is here. Palm M105. This is not ringing a bell to me. But I feel like I do remember when interchangeable cell phone cases became a thing and they were hard plastic like that. Oh my gosh, do you remember that? Wow. In sync. Courtney Love. A Motorola talk about. Wow. Even just like the plastic giving you a vibe. Wow, wow, wow. Lincoln Park. Do you remember T9 texting? Let me know if you remember T9. And like, our thumbs would be dead if we still had to like sit there and click every button. Okay, next is a section called Face It. Um, the effects of UV damage. Okay. So it's all about skincare in the summertime. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I know that this still exists because I used it like a year or two ago, but like St. Ives. Wow. The body shop obviously has a much different logo now. Wow, I think the Hawaiian Tropic bottle looks identical. exactly the same. Same thing with Neutrogena. Get out of here. Copper tone, same thing. Wow. And then on the bottom, protecting your assets. <laughs> Banana boat. Wow. Yeah, a lot of the packaging still looks the same on these sunblocks. I guess there's really no need to change it, right? Like, it's a sunblock. Let's see. The Hawaiian, the bottle of Hawaiian Tropic Dark Tanning Oil eight dollars back then let me see how much it is now so if you give it a quick search an eight ounce bottle at walmart is 
I feel like that's not, like the price hasn't inflated much for 22 years later. Good for them. Okay, we've got some more aloe vera products. If you want to make your own exfoliator, just ground up one of these household items below, rub it into your skin in the shower or bath, and rinse. All right. Okay. Coarse salt, sunflower seeds, almonds, avocado, table salt. Mix one of the above ingredients with crushed fruit and veggies, and you have your very own edible creation. Some fresh choices, strawberries, cucumbers, raspberries, bananas, oranges, avocado, and grapes. I don't know that I would rub my face with salt. I don't know. Next is, I have no idea what this is. The first single from Shorty 101, the soundtrack for Get Over It. Not a clue. Next. The next section is about hair, and the name of the article is Scarved for Life. Make a Bohemian Gypsy and make like a Bohemian Gypsy and don a frilly headscarf for summer. Is that PC? I'm not sure. I always wanted to wear headscarves like this, especially, um, oh man, I had one that was like basically a, a, a material triangle with a headband in it. Think like, um, passport, passport to Paris style. And then like I tried, I doubled down and tried even harder with real bandanas that I bedazzled on my own when Lizzie McGuire hit because she used it. Like, oh, she looked so good at them. But I just feel like I never, no. It never, it never took off for me. Next, a section called Mad Hatter. And these are all, almost all bucket hats. Wow, isn't that so weird? Like, it's still a thing or it's back in. I like that one. That's another thing that never, um, that never hit for me with a bucket hat. Next. Oh my goodness, this is an advertisement for gel sparkles pens. Oh, even seeing the display. Look at the way they have the... Oh my gosh. I liked the gel sparkle pens. But my all-time favorite were milky pens. And they obviously advertise them as safe for your skin. Which is like, there's hard, there's no way, right? Like, there's no way that it was, but... Page 22 has for us some watches. Waterproof watches. Um, none of these brands are looking familiar. I mean, there's a Nike one, it says, but the only one that's, like, giving is this. It's right in the corner here. This baby G-Shock. Do you remember everybody had a baby G-Shock watch? I did not, but they're very cool. I, you know what? I would still wear that. Here's another brand that's still kicking, OPI Nail Polish. How does OPI come up with those wacky nail polish titles anyway? And then there's also a thing called shoesies. Shoes for your fingers. Shoesies. I don't know if I remember these. hollywoodjeans.com Hollywood the jean people I don't really remember this brand but I remember belly jeans being a thing 
if I had known how nice my stomach looked back in the day and what it would look like 20 years later, I would have been wearing a belly chain all day every day. All right, page 26, the goods get framed. Strutting your stuff has never been easier with these sim with summer sizzling tinted shades, tinted sunglasses. And then there's a section on brooches but they're calling them, a ju you know, like jeweled gems. It's a brooch, Mary. <laughs> then on the back side, we have some more tinted sunglasses. Do you remember these? The tinted sunglasses, where is it? With the gems on the... And then, oh, okay, yeah, bedazzled hair stuff. That took off, at least in my world it did. Wait, time out, look at pink. This is pink, Justin Timberlake, and Aaliyah. That's how you know this is old, pink has pink hair. <laughs> this next page is basically just an advertisement wrapped up in an article about a, a, a website called girlprops.com. Interesting. Then an actual advertisement for Seventeen's The Truth About Girlfriends. Reading is a girl thing. Cringe. Okay. Shootopia section. Flipping over flops. I remember seeing Mary Kate and Ashley shoes like that in Walmart when I was a kid. Can I tell you, I don't think I owned Mary Kate and Ashley clothing or accessories like anything. I don't know how because they really weren't that expensive. The only thing I could think of is that I wanted to wear exactly what they were wearing in their movies and in their shows and I knew they weren't wearing these things. That sounds, that sounds like me. Like I want the real thing or nothing. Ringing in the sunshine. Okay, so here we have different types of rings. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, do you remember these? These rhinestone flower crystal. <laughs> yes, 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 all of the above my mood ring on today. It's like a yellowy green. I don't know what that means. Old. Then on the back, teen.com. I remember this article fondly, fondly, because it was about shaving. And am I, do I remember? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Good, good, good. So for whatever reason, I remember this article fondly. Now, have you ever heard of people, um, maybe like, I think I've heard it on radio shows and whatnot, lies? lies that people told you that you believed all your life and one of them was this is not to say this person is a liar but my mom used to told me to tell me that shaving above your knee was like you're asking for it she was like nikki your hair is gonna grow back twice as thick and i'm sitting here picturing like werewolf mammoth did anybody else have this like do not shave above the knee do you know I hope nobody judged me for that. Not that it really matters, but like, what are you doing walking around with half a, half a shaved leg? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, of course, years later, there were, you know, myths about shaving other places. But like, oh my gosh, as someone who is a hairy Italian, 
I must have looked like a she-wolf. Like, just... That's all part of the experience, I guess. It's not a, not a crime as much as letting my unibrow go untouched for as long as it did. So, shout out to my sister for being like, It's bad, Dickie. It's bad. <laughs> but anyways, I remember reading this article intently and, like, scanning above the back of this person's knee to be like, oh, does it look like, do, do they, do they look like they shave above their knees? Should I, shouldn't I? <laughs> and then the other thing I remember about this article is on the bottom, and I still think about this little section all of the time. Don't ask me why, but it says, Glamour on the Run, if you run out of pro these products, why not try these products? So it says, if you run out of eyeliner, why not try eyeshadow? Apply very carefully with a Q-tip or a thin eyeshadow brush. I wish they would have been more specific because I would have been applying it on my waterline instead of just underneath. Just saying. If you run out of lip liner, lip liner wasn't even on my radar until like Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson era, basically. Like, I didn't get it. <laughs> so if you run out of lip liner, Try eyeliner. Rule of thumb, if it's safe enough for your eyes, it's safe enough for your lips. Okay. If you run out of lip gloss, why not try Vaseline or petroleum jelly? Seriously, your lips will glisten and be moisturized. That's true. That's very true. There was another one of these, maybe in another issue. Or was it in the first issue? I don't know, but it, it said if you run out of... Uh, it was something if you run out of shaving cream... I think it was like try body wash, like lathering a body wash, and I still do that to this day. Oh my goodness. Next, we have an ad for the movie Shrek. Shrek number one, coming out May 18th, 2001. Shrek. Shrek, Shrek, Shrek. Wow. Imagine that. Imagine seeing this ad and not knowing what Shrek was. I feel like everybody knows what, you know, who Shrek is and what it's about, but being like, I wonder what this movie's about. Okay, next is a section called Mind Matters. Smells like teen soothing. If you're looking for a little relaxation, yummy smells can chill you out fast. What do you do when you're stressed out? Redecorate your room, cue up some soothing tunes, change into your favorite fuzzy sweater and call into the covers, attack the chocolate cake in the fridge, all good things. Wow, Aroma Web is a website devoted to the study of scent. And it goes into the history of aromatherapy. I should have paid more attention to this when I was a kid. Wow. Wondering what aromas do what? Read on for a breakdown of some popular aromatherapy oils. And it talks about ginger, lavender, jasmine, rose geranium, patchouli, sandalwood, spearmint, and vanilla. I almost said vanilla. Next, we have Nickelodeon Teen Nick. Oh my gosh. Keenan and Kel. I... This is not ringing a bell to me. As told by Ginger, I never watched but heard about. Same thing, Caitlin's Way? I have no idea. With Nick Cannon, who's seven in this picture. Weird. I was never really a huge Keenan and Cal person either. All right. Next is a section called Girl to Know. The title of the article is, She's Crafty. With a little glue, glitter, and ambition, Mary-Kate and Ashley discover how 11-year-old Sandra Clark has become an author, spokesgirl, and world traveler. Where's my article? Mary-Kate and Ashley, I'm available because um, I do glue and glitter. <laughs> oh, okay. So she does like craft books.
literally no shade on that because I could show you some arts and crafts stuff that I did when I was 11, which are horrifying um, nightmare fuel. So these I remember, I remember not having these, like not owning these. Maybe someone like gave me a half used one once, which is quite gross, but I used it. Lip Rages. I think my best friend at the time gave me one of hers. Lip Rages Glitters. Yes. We have an article about surfing. Ad for the magazine. I tell you, I literally looked at this and thought this was Nick Carter. Quick glance, don't you think so too? No, is it the eyebrow that's not? It says Brian McFadden. MTV darling Brian McFadden. Wow, I was like, oh my god, Nick Carter. Wow, they went they went hard on on giving Brian's life story here. Justin Burfield, who plays the second oldest brother, Reese, on Fox's Sunday Night Smash, Malcolm in the Middle. Ah, I did not watch that show. <laughs> A shirt that says, boys lie. Oh my goodness. All about roller skating and roller blading, which I remember being really popular when I was very young. But I don't know if it was just where I lived. Um, but I, I don't know, ice skating, like going to an ice skating ring for like teen night was a big thing. Just an art, some more articles. We want the ads here for once. Oh, Mary Kate and Ashley at Walmart. Yeah, see like these pieces are cute. These are cute. But I was never, I was never like a khakis girl. I never, I don't like wearing skirts. I don't like wearing dresses, like... I think that was part of the issue. A quiz, are you making the most of your summer? I don't know, that's rough. What if you feel like you're not? Now this is Mary Kate and Ashley swimwear. Yeah, see, like, I was like, I don't want this. I want the exact same swimsuit. I'm, decades later, I'm still, if someone gave me their outfits from their shows, I would wear it every day. Another quiz, is your summer fling going to last? I'm sorry. This this person's like nine. Like a summer fling, summer job. Girl, no. She's not even allowed to babysit her sister yet. More if we have PJs. Medicaid National PJs. An article about camping. I wonder what their main demographic of people who purchased this magazine was because as you can tell, these people, these people are older. And you're talking about summer jobs and summer flings. But I know that a lot, a lot of girls who got this magazine were way too young for that stuff like me. article about surfing. Yeah, so do you remember when like Quicksilver and Roxy like surfing shorts were a big thing? I had one pair and this reminded me of it. It was very similar to this pattern, but more like, like a dark blue. I thought it was hot stuff with those like board shorts. More articles about camping. Wow, they really want you to get out there. Next, we have an ad for Real Books for Real Girls. Mary Kate and Ashley Books. I remember reading those. Don't waste your summer lounging around, connect with people, create, or have a really great tent sleepover. Wow, I, you know what, I appreciate the fact that they really wanted 
you to get out there and not just be like a couch potato all summer. Let's see. Mary, Kate, and Ashley give you 20 ways to escape the summer doldrums. Volunteer at a nursing home. Go to a specialty camp. Go camping in your backyard. Do crossword puzzles. Go to concerts. Go to a sled hill. Write letters. Play with Play-Doh and clay. We do that here. Bake. Create designer clothes. Do your hair. Discover new music. This is... I like this. I like that. And then we have an article on... Mary Kate and Ashley, the world's most beautiful peaches. Rio de Janeiro. Hawaii. It's <laughs> like Sasha Colby in the background. Waikiki Beach in Hawaii. South Beach, Florida. It's like a gator smoking a cigar in the back. Malibu, California. Oh, an article about Accutane. Scary. The picture is scary. Okay, from pop stars to, well, pop stars. Eden Crush on roommate style fame and fans. Eden's Crush. I could not tell you what they sang. Um, but I did hear a song the other day. It was like, he loves me, he loves you not. Do you remember that song? No matter what. Okay, so it says Eden's Crush had a number one single, Get Over Yourself. Oh, and then they toured with NSYNC. The name rings a bell, the song title does not. This is what we subscribe for. Winning London, winning London. These pants, I remember having a pair of plaid pants. And again, you couldn't tell me squat when I was wearing those pants because I was just like Mary Jane Ashley. Summer internships. Making it up, got ideas, become an inventor, and put yours to the test. Adventure Randy Altschul tells how. That's pretty cool. Behind the convent walls. Going to an all-girls school may seem like a social disaster, but our New York City teen panel member Daniela doesn't think so. She digs the mix of religion, education, and a go-girl environment. Sacred Heart in New York City. New and now, I cut out something here, I guarantee it was a picture of Mary Kate and Ashley. Okay, so what movies were coming out? We have Tomb Raider. Oh my gosh. AI, Artificial T Intelligence with Haley Joel Osment. Atlantis, the Disney movie. The Fast and the Furious was coming out. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's so old. And I don't recognize any of the up-and-coming music artists. I'm sorry. Damn. Video games that were pos- Video games that were popular. Kirby, Tilt and Tumble on Nintendo. Dodgeball Advance. Looney Tunes, Sheep, Dog and Wolf. Mama me. I should go online and see if half these websites still exist. Okay, a fiction story. But they're really giving you like every everything you could want in a magazine. Mary Kate and Ashley takes some takes some of Boy Crazy's hottest guys out on the town for some even hotter dates. Sorry. Tell me how old. Can someone tell me how old Jamal looks like he is? It 
says he was born in 86, and if this came in 2001, that's what, four, 14, 15? There's no way. No way. Like, Jamal just stopped, like, his mom, he just had to ask his mom to stop giving him a kiss at the bus stop, like, crazy to me. What the heck? The guys are 12 to 22 years old. My god. How do I feel about that? Next, friendship wear. Oh, DMC is the brand that I still buy when I go to like Michaels and stuff like that. It's an, it's an ad for friendship bracelets. I feel like we saw something really similar in the last magazine. Joey McIntyre. Cute, cute, cute. Oh my gosh, do you remember these little losses? Wow. Team Town. So this is like behind the scenes stuff. It's so little time. They don't look too pleased in this picture. <laughs> Yikes. Their hair. Ugh. If I could change my hair to anything, I would change it to that. Like literally that. That color, those styles. This is what I want to do so bad in life. Find somewhere online or like a or something that has shirts like this and I will bedazzle them myself. Yes, 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 yes. Let me bedazzle everything. Yes, yes. I wish. I wish. I wish. Ugh. Got an article about Mandy Moore. So cute. Hey girl, you're gonna be a Disney princess. <laughs> Summer tunes. All right, Coldplay Parachutes album was coming out. That was Ashley's pick. Mary Kate's pick was The Counting Crows. Oh, wow, wow. A oh, babe. Tiny. Wow. So young. Your horoscope. Horoscope. Let me read the horoscope for cancer, because that's the month, like, that this was supposed to be out. Ever meet someone you just click with right away? This month, you might just snap, crackle, pop with a Scorpio or Taurus type. Cancer girls have a tendency to take on other people's problems. But for now, it's best if you steer clear of people who bring you down and instead start hanging with friends who are as laid back, as easygoing as you are. Beware of something you said in the past causing some tension now. But I can fix him. <laughs> survey you can tell what tell me or kate and ashley what you think of their magazine oh a, a preview of the next issue which i do have it says as they travel to india and they did and what's this? Ways to supersize your summer. Oh my god, the album Irresistible by Jessica Simpson. Wow. And then of course, what Y2K magazine would be complete without a lip smackers ad?
Well friends, I hope that you enjoyed this. I know a lot of you have been liking soft speaking and for this like angle video that really works out. Um, let me know if you want me to flip through more magazines. I know the first time I did kind of like an overhead view. This time I wanted to please the other half of you and do like a face forward view. So if there's anything else you'd like to see, um, so if there's anything else you would like to see, me and inflatable 90s blow up chair would be happy to, happy to help. <laughs> Peace out.